a friend of mine told me, he said, let's go to the brothers. I said, where is the brothers? It was the Camilla, it's the Camilla's house. They used to call it the brothers of a good scamper. We deal with the most chronic homeless that have mental health issues, drug abuse, alcoholism. Yeah, I had a job, but I couldn't maintain my job because of my addiction. We're downtown Miami, and those are those people that you see mainly out on the streets um, that we try to bring into Camilla's house so they won't have to be homeless. Most of them have a lot of mental health issues, starting from maybe severe bipolar to schizophrenic, and then some severe addiction. They're yeah, very good people, very good to me. I've never had a problem with any of them ever since I've been here. That's on the behalf of God, you know, <laughs> because I went to other programs, but when I came here, I, uh, it's just something about this program that made it fit where I wanted to be at. I felt comfortable. It's a homeless shelter, but it provides um, all kinds of behavioral health services. We start from somebody having a bed out in our courtyard to bringing them into treatment for mental health, substance abuse, case management, um, and all those services. We probably serve here, we have about, I think about 100 plus, 150 out there in our courtyard in case management beds, and we have about 50 in treatment that um, receives mental health and substance abuse. I had an apartment in New Orleans, but then they put snakes in my apartment. They get one-on-one -on -one counseling, they'll see a psychiatrist, we get them on medications if they need. They will have group therapy, they'll have fun time. We really believe in socializing folks because these people have been out there without really socializing and being with each other. So we try to take them to football games and baseball games. I remember I was in a situation like this, you know, all this rain that we had going on. I was in the same situation last year around this time. and. It made me feel miserable. I was miserable. I mean, every morning I'm waking up, it's wet, nowhere to go. Every time I do try to settle down, I got to get up and move from that spot. And I felt it was sickening. But I was just talking to a friend last night, and I was just telling him how I was, I was grateful that I wasn't out there anymore, and I don't have to live like that no more. They get three meals a day. Um, they get wake up and they get breakfast in the morning, lunch, and dinner. The people, they really make your day. You know, you I leave here. Not only do I help them, they help me, and they help me stay humble every day. And really, I think before I ever worked here, I took for granted I had a home and I mentally was okay and physically okay. And then I realized that somebody could have a crisis and have a behavioral health problem at any time. So I, what I learn from here every day is not to take life for granted and to appreciate everything I have. Well, when I first came here, I was in despair, you know, like the loss of all hope, you know. and. Uh, you know, and I, I believe I really can become a productive member of society. I know I can. You know, I got it going on. <laughs> <laughs>